forget to subscribe and click that bell icon to get notified of my latest uploads. Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Die Alpha 18. So as you guys can see, we're still we left off last episode, and now we're just going to keep on looting. I want to see if we can get to that quest over there, but that's in the that's in the desert. That's a big problem. In the desert. So if there's another vulture, it's going to follow us all the way here. So I wonder if I shouldn't just loot a few buildings and then go back to the trader. And hopefully we have a gun or some proper weapon as a reward. So we just need like 900 tokens to be able to tell the wandering trader, listen, give me that welding torch and we can start making our own stuff as well. Okay, now we need vitamins so we're able to eat these as well, but I should be able to eat the, eat the hobo stew. Uh, my food actually is quite up there, so I don't know if it's really necessary. But I do need to heal, so let's just do that. Okay, the shovel we're going to put away for now and then let's keep this one on us. Okay, we're going to... Just do this again like last episode, stack up over here. I don't want to be outside too much. So everything I'm doing, I'm doing on uh, on me. Uh, let's do that in there. I don't want to put that in there because just now it says I failed the quest. I don't, I'm not sure if that works that way, but I'm not going to take a chance. And that. Okay. We need a bigger inventory for my bicycle as well. So now we're going to go to these houses over there that we were at last episode. Or let's go over the road. This thing is right here, who knows, perhaps you can get some food and loot and stuff here as well. I just hate it when it's lifted like this because you have to really struggle to get inside. Do this. this might just have a basement. The first time I saw this happen was with the one new fire station POI that the game had. And yeah, two, because there was a bunker underneath so it pushed it outside the world. So I'm guessing there's a bunker to this place as well. Okay, so there might be zombies upstairs, I need to be careful of that. It seems we have to go onto the roof though. Let's just hope there's no vultures up there waiting for us. I can't afford to face a vulture this early again because those things pack way too much of a punch. Especially since we don't have the weaponry to really face them. At least there is a roof over here so we should be able to hide from the vulture like that. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We still have the fire station uh, uh, across the road as well. We're getting a ton of ammo, now we just need the guns for the ammo. Okay, so there's another tire over here. Remember, we need to pick up these tires. We can sell them at the trader. Ooh, I thought that was a vulture rising up. But it was just a zombie. Although, I don't know if I should say just a zombie. Okay, can I power attack this guy? Ooh, this reach is a lot smaller. That's a big problem with this thing. The reach is way worse than with the sledgehammer. The sledgehammer you can swing, walk into it, and you're safe. Not too safe, but at least it's a little bit safe. Okay, I want to make sure we loot everything downstairs before we go upstairs. The zombies are trying to break through. I wonder if I should take them out first. But then that's going to entail me making holes in this place to get to them. Just now, a zombie falls on, uh, on me from on top. Because I'm going for these zombies. I hope this isn't a mistake. Come on, come on, come on. No, 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 break through here, yeah, guys. Come on, come on, come on. See, I just need to keep an eye open for the sides over here. No, let's bleed him a bit. This guy is so stupid, he's not going for the boards over here. Although, we don't want them going for the boards, so it's a good thing they're going for the con- Oh, concrete! Oh, hello! Oh, that just gave me a fright. Where did you guys come from all of a sudden? Let's just hope we can kill them before the rest of them join them. That is one down. I was able to swing my mouse just a little bit to get that last shot in. Because he also ducked. Come on, bleed out, bleed out. I don't mind them bleeding out a bit. It just gives, it gives me a chance to replenish my stamina as well. I can't believe I managed to survive that just now, guys. I just happened to turn to the right and see them there. If it wasn't for that, I'd be dead. Okay, now I can actually max attack them, yeah? Because they're standing together. Like I accidentally did with that um, cow as well. There you go. And you guys are also bleeding, right? Yeah, you're dead. Come on. Keep an eye out for vultures and stuff rising up. I need to find myself an iron spear or something stronger way faster. I need something powerful. Okay, she's gonna beat to death, thank you. That's another skill point we can spend. Let's just hope nothing falls on me while I'm busy doing this. I'm gonna go for... I can't go for that one, okay. Can I go for this one? Yes! Oh no, that's just full. Reduce the stamina when jumping 20%. So the next one is jump one block higher. I can't wait for that one. That's the one I'm really after. Oh, this place is also awesome. There's, uh, I think there's a glass floor inside. Uh, where are you? Are you inside of here? 
I just want to make sure I don't give too much space so they can get through. Okay, so I might be bl breaking the long bro wrong block right now. Let's see if I can break her legs. Okay, at least... Okay, now I just need to make a bleed. Get closer again, please. And... Oh, crap, 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 crap. I need to bleed her. Okay, what a way to hit her, but still. Unfortunately, that's all the... Uh, that's the only place I can hit her right now. And one more. Thank you. There's a guy on this side as well. So it wasn't all for naught that I started hitting on this side as well. Oh, it's a crawler. He's gonna get through. I can't get too close because he's gonna jump over that wall as soon as I do. I might just have to do this so he can realize he can jump. Because they do jump, or rather crawl over. Okay, now I open that space up. So I need to be careful that no other zombies go through that slot. So I need to go upstairs, right? Wait, can you loot this? Remember that I almost thought it showed a loot sign. Please don't tell me there's vultures up here, guys. We can't handle a vulture right now. I thought I saw a hand of a zombie over there. It seems I was wrong. Okay, so we need to fall down, uh, downstairs. Ooh, medium pile. Thank you, but we still need weapons. We're finding all the ammo, but no weapons. Oh, crap. That was a mistake. At least there is a hole here somewhere. So I should be okay. And we do have our frame, so we should be able to jump up as well. On top of these things, and we might be a little bit safer, like for example, doing this. Just, I just hope I don't fall on top of a zombie. That's going to suck. Okay, let's see, let's see. I hope there's no, like, cave-in floors over here. That's going to really put a damper on things. Okay, so it seems we need to go out this window. No, this is where you're actually supposed to enter, it seems. What? Or did the zombies break through there? Okay, let's just keep, an, uh, keep a weapon on me. Okay, I do still hear sleepers. Where are you? Upstairs or downstairs? I think it's behind the tools over there. Okay, so this looks like a bank. Okay, so that's uh, that's what this place is. Now, I just need to make sure that that zombie doesn't flank me. There's a zombie breaking out through one of the doors over here. I think it's over here, right? Is it here? No, it's not there. Where is that zombie? Oh, crap. Hello. Let's see if I can do a little bit of sneak. Nice, thank you. Because this bank, at least, it's, uh, it's not a big bank. But there's still a ton of gun safes I can do over here. Now, where's the zombie? It's really bothering me that I can't see where that zombie's coming from. The one that just died. Okay, so let's see if we can loot a few things over here as well. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't want to accidentally start breaking stuff. Although, I don't think I'll be able to do enough damage to it to break it at the moment. I just wonder where that one zombie was just now. The one that just died. Uh, this is a lady where I accidentally hit her in the wrong place. Um, it seems this floor is done. Oh, there is a downstairs. Okay, cool. Now, guys, there's a ton of safes over here. It's a shame you can't open all of them right now. Because these safes might just have everything we need inside. Okay, there is something behind here. Medical pile. Thank you. I won't say no for some coal. Okay, so all of these are not lootable. But there's one. How many safes are here? Just two. Two safes? So this is, this is another POI with safes. We need to be able to unlock these safes. Okay, so... What's out here? He's downstairs. He can't get to us, right? Yeah, he can't get to us. He'll, he'll try digging. And perhaps he'll start to break through after a while. But for now, we're safe. Okay, I want to make sure we don't stir up a hornet's nest down here. Are there any zombies below me? Doesn't look like it. Just a little more crowd. See, now, this is the basement. This is definitely a basement. That's why this place is lifted into the air like that. Okay, there's nothing behind there. It does look cool, though. Like a proper safe. Okay, is there something behind here? Yes, what's that? Purse. I miss the times where purses actually gave you pistols and stuff. Especially now, since I need a pistol. We have a ton of ammo, but nothing to use it on. Okay, so, I need to do this. Let's do this. We're going to keep these two together, so it's easier for me to bleed them and hit them. No zombies, no zombies. Oh wow, okay, where did he try breaking? How did he die? That's the one where they heard die on something, but there's nothing there. I wonder if there was like a spike or something there blocking the entrance. It might have just been. And I love finding stuff like this, but please give me something awesome. Not just crappy nothings. 
Okay, I need to get my... Ooh, yes, cookie pots. I need to get my looting skill higher as well, guys. I want to be able to loot faster and better. And with Scavenger, you can invest skill points in Lucky Looter. So that's going to give me exactly what I need. Let's make sure there's no holes up here. Every time there's a dark patch like that, it actually bothers me. Now, this is going to be the trick. What's in there? Why did he die? Did something kill him? Or was he just unlucky? Make sure there's no zombies around the corners. Look, we do have spikes on us. But I don't know... Ooh, there's a copper in there. See, I don't know if we're going to be able to kill that cop with spikes. There's way too many sp uh, cops in there. Are we going to test it? I wonder if I should just lay down a ton of spikes and then wake them up. And see... Because there's a ton of loot. Look at that. That's endgame loot right there. There's a spider. But there's a ton of cops. Um... I need to wake them up and then place the spikes around this door. Let them all die on the spikes. Can I do that? Let's see if I can get one at a time. So we're going to get this guy's attention. It would be awesome if I can actually kill him first shot. I doubt it. And run. Run, 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 run. So we're going to close this off. Rather we don't do this. And then close it off. And then place another one. Yeah. So as he walks through this, he'll die. Hopefully. I wonder what's his, uh, what his health at at the moment. Come on. Come on, where are you going, dude? We okay, go halfway. Run, 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 run. You need to get three here, dude. Come on. He's clever. He sees he's taking damage. Damn, now I made a mistake. I shouldn't have, should have placed this. Okay, he's breaking through. That's a good thing. Oh, crap. He's exploding. Let's just get away. Boom. Oh, he died. It's a shame I don't get the XP for that. I don't think I do, though. Okay, so. Uh, I need more spikes. Need more spikes. <laughs> that, this is going to work awesomely, I think. Okay, uh, what do you need for spikes? It's a shame I can't make the iron spikes. Okay, I need one more wood. Guys, I don't think we're going to have enough for all those zombies. The spider itself is going to be tough. But I want to get the cops out of the picture first. It's a shame I can't get over here without stepping on the spikes. Because this spikes is actually still usable. No, 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 no. Don't waste your arrows. Okay, so how much do I have? I can make one more spike. So it's going to be, it's going to take a while, but we can actually clear all of them out like this. Okay, so what's that? Is that a biker? This is, I hope there's no uh, zombies around the corners of here. Like, this is the only uh, zombies you see that are in this room. Okay. Headshot. Sneak damage. And go. Okay, so I need to place one there. Let him come through. Okay, he's going to try and jump through here because there's a big hole. And then I need to place one on this side. That, only if he steps in that one. Yes. Nice. Okay, die, 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 die. That just wasted a little bit of time. Or other resources. This one's time you just woke everything up. Yeah, he did. Okay, so spider as well. Come on. Oh, there's a soldier. No, there's a soldier. Come on, bleed to death, guys. Bleed to death. Let's just get over here as well. I'm going to have to break through these spikes to get out. But at least this way I know I'm safe. I can't believe there's a soldier in there. I didn't even see him. Hello. How much is your HP at? Nice. Okay, now I swung for nothing. That was a waste of stamina. Nice. I think I got the XP for that one. Okay, so I got a card from the... That's actually a very early game to get a green card. Now, I hope that the spider isn't coming all around the corner all of a sudden. Let's see if I can make more. No, I only have 19. I need way more at the moment. I hope 3 is enough to actually kill a spider. And that, that was the only zombies in here. If those were the only zombies in here, guys, we just cleared out a bank. A tough PRI, just like that. Ooh, there's, some, there's a bike over there as well. There's a spider over there. If I can sneak all the way to the spider, I should be able to kill him. I should be with a power attack. The problem is, if I don't make it to him and he wakes up, I'm going to have to run. Because there's a guy over there as well. I hope that's just a biker and that's not a feral. Please, slowly, 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 slowly. Don't wake up. No. No, 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 no. Run, 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 run. I'm going to open that up a little bit. Damn it. Come on, walk into the spikes. 
And he's dead. Okay. So he wasn't as tough as I thought. Oh, chainsaw. Guys, this day is getting awesome. Okay, so now it's just a biker. If I can actually surround him with spikes and then wake him up. Although, I couldn't get close to this guy, so I'm going to wake that guy up. I need seven more. Come on, it's just that one guy left. Okay, so... Oh, I have 27. Can I get more wood? If I get more wood, I would actually be able to make way more spikes. Okay, but for now, two should be enough. Please let two be enough. Please tell me there isn't another sleeper that I just missed or just spawned in late. That's really going to put a damper on things. Okay, does it say what it is before I actually hit him? See, I need to place that, uh, the spikes right in front of him so he start, when he starts moving, he walks into it. At the moment, I don't have re a noise reduction or any skills or anything like that. Okay, now, if he starts moving at least, I should be safe for a while. Okay, it's just a bike. Oh, crap. Just a biker, but he almost killed me just now. Let's get back a little bit. Okay, so I'm doing a ton of damage. I just need to pl place this one spike. This spike should be enough to kill him now. And it seems he's a lost zombie. So, guys, this, uh, this way of doing things is actually... I know it's slow, but I mean you get to take down tough zombies without having to really do anything. You just let the spikes do the damage. I mean, I just took out two cops, a guard, and two of these guys with just spikes. And I'm getting XP like crazy. Okay, so please tell me that was only zombie in here. It seems like there's zombies outside as well. And it's untouched. Nice. Oh no, there's a horde outside. At least they shouldn't be able to get up here with me because we are elevated. But if they start breaking in somehow, I'm screwed. So I need to get out of here as soon as possible. That's an iron shovel, I think. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Gun stool box. Okay, that is... I don't know if that's uh, pistol parts or uh, whatever part that is. Yes, okay, so I'm getting a ton of ammo. That's the good thing. At the moment, uh, we don't need the ammo. We need other stuff. Yeah, I don't think you can loot anything over here, and... It seems there was something there, but it's gone now. So I might have gotten destroyed by the zombies. <gasps> Lockpicks, yes! We can go to the other place and see if we can open. Or we can try and open the gun safes or the um, wall safes upstairs. So either way, we're set with lockpicks for now. Let's just do this as well. We need to get ourselves all the plastic we can. Especially since now we know later on we're going to need a ton of plastic for mods, for vehicles and stuff like that. So the sooner you can actually start collecting these, the better. Okay, so guys, I am shaking because of the fact that we just faced cops and stuff and we, su we survived. We're alive. This is a wandering ward, isn't it? I wonder if I can kill him from upstairs. Oh, radiated. There's no way I'm going to be able to kill that guy. Where's my bike? Oh, dear lord. The bike is downstairs on their side. And now there's a wolf. Okay, yeah. Okay, you two can face off to, against each other. It would be awesome if he kills a zombie, and that zombie, that zombie over there kills him. But then again, I'm too afraid that if I get too close to that meat... No, they're not killing him. If I get too close to that meat, um, I'm going to have a problem. Damn it, there's another radiator over there. But there's meat right there. I need to get away from this location as soon as possible. Okay, since we have the full lockpicks, let's hope, let's pray, it actually works on these um, safes over here. Then that way we know at least we cleared this place of all the loot it could have. I just hope they don't get up here somehow, they're like stacking on top of each other while I have my back turned. Please don't break. Okay, so two lockpicks for this one. Please, 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 please. And just crappy schematics. Now please give me something better in this one. And actually please take with two lockpicks. It was actually a miracle that one actually only failed once. Yes! Two again. It broke the first attempt. Succeeded the second. And steel arrows. Okay, so the loot we got is really crappy. But at least we'll be able to use it later on. Okay, so we need to go hand that in. Ah, let's just wear this as well. We need armor. The more armor we have on us, the better. Uh, this is running shoes. Three and one. Two and two. Uh, it doesn't matter. Okay, so we're going to sell most of the stuff we have on us. And the rest we're going to put in our dump chest. I need to make some forged iron. Do we have iron now? Uh, we're going to have to chop a few boulders, it seems. That's unfortunate. Please don't tell me you actually got up here. So the big problem is this radiator guy. If I had... Where is he now? There he is. If I had a Molotov over here, oh man, I could do so much damage. Unfortunately, you can't use other arrows than stone arrows with this thing. 
If it wasn't for that, I'd be able to kill all these guys in no time. Because some of the, you just know some of them are feral. So we're going to run this way. Please uh, uh, don't tell me anyone is feral. I'm going to run down, jump down. Where's my bike? And go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I don't want to stay too long and find out what kind of zombies. Well, you know what? I could actually just park here and see how fast they follow me around. That way I know, can I take them down now, get the XP? Remember, I have a broken leg, so I need to take that into consideration as well. There's no way I'm going to take down that radiated guy now. Yeah, lady, right here. Right here, thank you. I just need to make sure I'm far enough back so that if there's a runner, I can run to my bike. Especially with my broken leg, I'm going to be too slow to respond. Okay, so if you time it just right, you know exactly where the head's going to be. You can do some serious damage. But it doesn't always work out like that because sometimes they twitch like a centimeter or a millimeter and you just wasted that shot. Like, for example, he's walking straight. So, oh crap, too short. There, okay, that wasn't a good shot. I need to walk away. And yes, walk away because we need to get our stamina back. Knocked down, bleeding. I could technically take all of them down. I just don't know if I have the time. See, down, now they, they just need to bleed now. It's a shame this thing doesn't have a bleed effect. There's no way I'm going to be able to kill this guy, especially if they're bugged. I'm just afraid I do some damage and he starts charging me. And then I'm going to be screwed. So let's go for these zombies at the back. Hello, we know you took a damage already. Ah, oh, crap, that was too short. That was too short. Please tell me these were the last ones. There's no zombies on that side. There is a little bit of lag in the game. I can feel it when I'm turning my mouse. But at least not a ton. Oh wow, I just hit all of them at the same time. Oh crap, run, 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 run. Oh, that was too close for comfort. It's a shame I can't run past the wolf and let the wolf attack these guys. Oh, that was too close for comfort. At least my stamina is doing okay. Come on. Oh, she just needs one more shot. She just needs one more shot. Come on. Okay, I can actually get her with a bone arrow then. I don't want to get too close to these guys if I don't have to. Damn, there's a lot of lag. I can actually feel the frame rate dropping. Yeah, it's like 20 frames per second, guys. It's insanely slow. Okay, so I do have my anti- or rather my painkillers on me. Now this guy is going to take a ton of hits. And only two, whoa, we only took one damage from that. Now we're getting out of here. I wanted to kill that biker because I did a ton of damage on him. But I'm not going to stay there hitting 150 times and he's regening as I'm hitting him. And I think he was bugged as well because he barely took any damage. It might just be because it's a stone sledgehammer. But guys, I'm not going to be standing there for half an hour trying to kill one zombie. Guys, I just wonder what's creating this frame drop. This is supposed to be one of the small maps that creates a little bit of lag and damn, look at that. 11 frames per second. If it keeps on going like this, Horde Knight is going to be impossible. Okay, when I look straight down, the lag goes away, but then it's, it's the visuals. It has to be. As soon as I look up, it's 10 frames per second. So it's all these trees that are bugging me. So let's really see if I can set down the settings for that. It's going to annoy me so much, even if the trees look awful. Terrain quality? Oh, I think terrain quality is now trees and everything, isn't it? Uh, let's go for medium. Unfortunate, but uh, object quality I'm still going to have on high. Blooming everything else off, sun shafts. It looks so nice when sh sun shafts are on. That's guys, that's why I need to get myself a better graphics card. Let's see if that actually helped the frame rate. Nope. Well, it, it increased it by like 5 frames per second. But that's still unplayable. I cannot keep on going if it's going to do that the whole time. Okay, so that is iron. I'm going to do this for reloading. Although at the moment there's nothing to reload. We need weapons. And I think this was the trader quest, wasn't it? Yes. State okay. your business, fool. State your business, fool. Oh no, it's not. It's the guy behind him. Okay, so I really thought that was his because the uh, exclamation is there, but he's behind this one. That's why it looked that way. Okay, let's see. Uh, scrap gloves, shotgun. Ooh, iron reinforced club. I need to make it. But now it says craft. But it says craft one. So I probably do need to craft it. Although at the moment, if I put my bobbed uh, thing on this, it's going to do a ton of damage. So let's buy that one. Well, let's see. 455. How many tokens do I have? 
Ooh, okay, so let's do this one. We're going to sell this one. Uh, any other jobs in the northwestern direction? Northwest, come on. No, nothing. Okay, we do need to go uh, east, northeast for the trader. So let's just select one of these. And it's going to be a fetch. I don't want to look all around for zombies. So that's why I'm not doing the clear at the moment. And also, we can't afford to kill every single zombie. Because as you guys saw, it can take forever. Okay, so uh, we need to sell all the stuff at the trader. Let's just put that back on. Just so we can take the hits should we get hit. Now we just need gas and we can actually use our auger, oh no, not auger, chainsaw as well. It's a shame we don't have any lockpicks left. Damn it. Okay, so let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm going to sell a few things first. Like so. This one is worth 80. This one's worth 157. I might just have to. How many coins do I have? Seven. Okay, I hope the wandering trader is still there. It's going to suck if I sell all of this. And he's not there anymore. Compound bow. Yes! A compound bow. Now we'll be able to use the steel uh, arrows as well. Damn, I was really struggling just now. Okay, so I can repair my... Let's... I'm not going to make too much noise. So let's repair this one. Sell it. All right, now um, where's my repair kit? Get out of my store. Have I used my repair kit before? I think I might have used it on my uh, pickaxe. I forgot that you need to use your um, repair kits now and stuff like this, not iron. How many do I have? I don't have any repair kits left. Oh, that's going to suck. That's going to put a damper on things. Okay, but still, we should be able to get enough coin now for that welding torch. So let's see. May I see your inventory, please? Oh, wait. You're first, is he still nerves, there? Man. Yes, he's there. I hope he hasn't reset yet and he doesn't have a welding torch anymore. Guys, I want to get this as soon as possible in-game. As you guys know, last time we really struggled. I'm going to sell that one. Now we don't have to sell the chainsaw. Yeah, I'm going to keep the chainsaw just for now. Uh, we might be able to use it later on. And we're going to do this. We're going to scrap that bow. Ba -ba. Oh, it's sale still in the trader. Uh, we're going to scrap the bow. Right and we're going to equip some better arrows to this thing. Even with just normal arrows, it's going to do way more damage. Because this thing is way more powerful than a normal bow. So now we need to go to the wandering trader, which is right there. I hope he hasn't reset yet. If I'm not mistaken, he resets every fifth day. Whereas a trader resets every second day. So, hopefully, his loot doesn't reset as we're inside of him. Or inside his inventory, not inside of him. That sounded bad. Damn. Okay, so let's quickly go. The nice thing of having a bike to get around with is the fact that your athletics gets up there. So your stamina, your running, everything improves because of the fact that you're running a bicycle. So that's the best reason to get scavenger class in the beginning. Okay, where is this guy? Oh, there you are. Hiding behind a stone over here. I still need to gather some more iron from these boulders. Okay, may I see your inventory, please? And please tell me you didn't reset. Please tell me you didn't reset. Okay, so nothing over here. I think it's under tools, right? Or is it resources? Yes, resources, 920. Okay, thank you. Now, uh, what else can I get? For 322. I don't want to waste all my cash, but if I can get something awesome that I can actually use, then why not? Nothing, nothing. Well, you know what? How much are these bandages? 55. We need more of these. Can you only buy one? Oh, you only had one. I was wondering why I can't double click it. And antibiotics, we actually need to buy this as well. Because if we get infected and we don't have honey, then we can definitely heal ourselves. Okay, whoa, tool and dice set is insanely expensive. Food, no, no. Snowberries we actually do need to get, but not now. Uh, custom fitting, armor plating mod. All of this is like thousands and thousands and thousands. It's way too expensive at the moment. Okay, I don't think we need anything else over here for now, guys. Unfortunately, he is super expensive. That's but right. it does, it does give you the chance. Uh, you don't progress too fast. I mean, if he was ever cheap... You get everything in the beginning of the game, and the gun, uh, game would actually become boring. So it is a good thing that is nerfed, like, well not nerfed, that the prices are jacked like that. But on the other hand, you do want to progress a little bit. At the moment, it feels like you're not getting anything done. All your tools are crap, all your... You don't have any weapons, proper weapons. Nothing that can really help you. Okay, so during the night, I need to chop a ton of boulders. Or rather, try and chop a ton of boulders with this lag. And do it, because you guys know the dark... Uh, it gets insanely dark at night. As like I just saw the, over there, there's like three, four boulders. If I can get the iron from that, I should be it should be enough to get this last quest done. 
I think it's the very last one of this one. And what's the reward? One nail gun and 75% uh, XP. I think that's the quest reward you get for, yeah. Uh, number 6 out of 6, it shows, yeah, bicycle. So we're going to get a nail gun. Although we don't really need a nail gun at the moment because we do have the normal hammer, stone hammer. And that thing is just in effect, and we have normal claw hammer. So we can literally go and upgrade this as we want. Although the stone hammer takes one shot, claw hammer takes two. Which doesn't really make sense. Okay, we need to go for wood as well. Damn, I am short on everything and don't have enough cash for anything. Yeah, if you guys like this episode, please leave a like and share with your friends. Any comments or tips or feedback, guys, if you didn't miss anything. Also, what's causing this insane frame drop? Let me know down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time.